Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips with our brand new Dollar Tree Dollar DVD and Blu-ray hunting video. Yes, I have heard that Dollar Trees have now started getting in on new Dollar DVDs and Blu-rays. The last time around they got them in was like, I feel like it was like just about a month ago or around a month or so. So it seems like it kind of depends. Like sometimes they get them in like every month, like once a month or so they get in a new batch of movies. And then the one time it was like a, a like two months or so, so it kind of all depends. But from the sounds of it, it sounds like they do have some new ones. So fingers crossed we can find some new stuff. I am out in a different area today, so these are Dollar Trees that I've never been to in my entire life. I'm not sure how many ones I'm going to go to, but this area, like I said, I've never been to the Dollar Trees out here, so like I said, maybe we'll find some really cool stuff out here. So let the Dollar Tree Dollar DVD and Blu-ray hunting video begin. Into the first Dollar Tree we go. And I don't see any like um, thing on the front here where it has like the deal of the week. Cause it just shows right on here like Christmas, you know, lights and then like chiller of the week is like the frozen stuff. But we'll go in here and see, like I said, I've never been to this particular location. This one right here though, like sometimes in the front the stores put the movies, but I haven't seen that as much lately. But usually they're put like in the electronics kind of area, like usually like around uh, this area is where they oh you know what? I, I, I have to put the mask on too I like walked in without the mask so I have to like put the mask on real fast yeah so let's see here though but I don't see them here oh no here's a few of them they have a couple ones here I don't know though if any of these ones are the brand new ones or they're like older leftover ones looking at these though these ones seem like kind of common ones I've seen a lot, like this Deer uh, Lemon Lima one. Like, I've seen this one so many times. So, like, from the look of it, this Berry Monday one, I don't think I've seen this one too often, but I know I've seen some of these ones. They have, like, a um, Great Migrations, a National Geographic one, Child Star, Broken. I'm pretty sure, like I said, I've seen most of these ones. Severance here. Kiss of the Damned, Belko Experiment. And this one too, um, if you guys come across this one, this is one, I've talked about this one so many times in the past, but I really, really love this movie. Which is interesting though is, the uh, Blu-ray edition of this one does not have all the special features. So it does, it's like a handful of them are not on the Blu-ray. And I remember this was like one of those movies that was like a big thing when this came out. Because it was like the first time they were trying out a thing where the movie was releasing in theaters, DVD, and on demand the same day. And this was like one of the early, early movies to do that kind of a, a release. See, and they didn't do too many more after that at this point. Because this was from, what year was this? In 2005, I think? So it was a really early experiment of that kind of a release. See, um... JT, Justin Timberlake, Reflection, some unauthorized documentary. Another Berry Monday. Blu-ray here of Blood Money. Let's see, Dennis Larry. Ashes in the Snow. Rites of Passage. This is one of those movies that I've had this movie for years, and I've never. I, I, someday I need to finally watch this movie. I've never watched this one. I don't know why I never watched that one. This one here. Gate uh, at the gate of the ghost, class of '92. There, it's like the extended edition here. I do not know what that one was at all. Uh, Blood money, great world of sound. Yeah, so that seems to be all the ones that are in here. Like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't think these are newer ones. Like, like I said, I recall seeing all these ones for the most part in the past, but. We'll now see, though, what other kind of uh, Dollar Trees are around here. I think that there's one kind of close. So I'll probably head over to that one now, though. Into the second Dollar Tree we go. And this one, though, it has, like, the weekly wow, like, the tin foil roasting pans. And then it's, like, butters there. But, like, right here, though, in the front, yeah, they have, like, these little, like, kind of weird bear things and stuff. So let's see though. Yeah, this area is real hoarded up with stuff. Let's see though where the electronic y stuff is. So let's see. Around here is where they should be if they have any in here. But this one, oh, wow, I've never seen. Oh, look at how many boxes are back there. Like, look at all the top. Oh, whoa. I, I, 
I've never seen so many boxes stocked up in my life. That's like crazy. But let's, let's, there's a bunch of stuff right here. But wow, I get, you could look at that all day. That's like, I don't know. Oh, let's see though. Like I don't see any down here. Yeah, usually they would be kind of like in this spot, but see with all these boxes, they, they could be like, there could be like uh, five shipments of dollar Blu-rays back there from the last like two times. Like who knows how many could be in there. But like I don't see a single movie over here. Yeah, there's nothing down here. They Sometimes they put them like in this vicinity right here. I don't see any over here. I'll check though some of the other aisles too, just in case they're like somewhere else. But no, there doesn't seem to be anything in this one. Oh yeah, see every aisle is like full of tons of boxes. Yeah, I don't see any down here in this, this kind of... Yeah, it doesn't look like it though, from what I can tell. I don't see any in here though. Let's just check just just to be safe, but no, it, it doesn't look like it. Well, I'm glad I kept looking because look, here is all the movies. They're like in like a secret spot. So let's go through here and I do see some different stuff in here. So at least I kept looking because I was like thinking, am I not going to find any? I don't know what this thing is here. Super slide. Some kind of like surfing thing or something. But let's go through here. And see, I see Paranormal Attraction. Oh no, don't drop everything now. This is like, um, kind of like eight kids movies. It's like kind of like knockoffs of stuff. And yeah, the true story of Puss in Boots. Yeah, like, like Dragon Hunters. Like kind of, that's kind of funny. It's like all kind of like knockoff animated ones. City of Sin here. Severance. This one here looks interesting here. This one, Unbiden. I've definitely never seen this one. I think I might get this one, Unbiden. Music box. I can't remember if I've seen this one or not. I think I have. This one was actually pretty good. If you guys come across this one, tell me how I die. I remember really liking this one. I think it was like set in like a weird, like a building where they were doing like like tests on people and stuff like that. But this one I remember really being impressed with and thinking that was pretty good. Let's see, pound puppies. And this is like one of those newer pound puppies, like when they brought back this. So like I remember these like really well as a kid. Some Frankenstein thing here. There was a Frankenstein movie that Tony Todd was in, which was in the same director who did, um, you know, Candyman, which was pretty good. There's something here called Out of Gas. Now, this is really strange. Lake Fear. And this is the UK edition in here. And this is in the PAL, PAL format. So how in the world did the uh, UK uh, DVD end up in here? That's so strange because this won't even play. Anyone that, So if you guys see this one in your stores that has this logo on here, just be warned, though, that that's in... in different regions so just keep that in mind the co so it won't play in the US players uh, Birdman a Fred Willard movie I never saw this one it's kind of interesting one Death Star it's another one I've never seen this one Death Star K9 World Champ Baby Geniuses this is like one of those later Baby Geniuses ones this is from like 2016 here I never really liked those movies very much I remember seeing the first one and like thinking oh it's not that great Toy Castle. This is some really weird, like, ballet kind of thing here. Citizen Soldier. It's another one of these kind of, like, animated ones that are kind of knockoffs of things. Let's see. World Champions 2017. This was pretty good, too. If you guys come across this Brian Cranston movie, Wakefield, I would definitely recommend this one. He kind of, like, he kind of, like, loses it with his family, and he, like, hides out in, like, the room above the garage, and he's in there kind of, like, just, like, stewing in his own problems and kind of hiding away. It was pretty good. Uh, this one called Benjamin the Elephant. This is, like, some weird, like, like, CGI elephant in here added in. Really weird here. This looks, I've never seen that in my life. Super furball. Something mercenary man, dog naps, the program. This one, I guess, if you saw in the first store a lot, we see this one. Ex Executioners. I don't know what this is here. I don't know what that is. Rabbit School, Jesse James, some racing thing, Gate of Ghosts, the Executioners. I'm trying to remember if I bought this one. 
I don't know if I did, if I ever bought the Hexacutioners one or not. Let's see, Luna, Super Slide, Be uh, Beast Legends, Assassin X, Ben Hur, Betty White, Blood and Vikings here, another Betty White one, The Dwelling. I think I bought this one in the past, I'm pretty sure. This was okay, this Alex and Me movie. I remember reviewing this one when this first came out. This girl is like a fan of the soccer star that like kind of has like a poster of I think and was like talking to her and stuff like that and giving her advice, I, I think. Ant Boy, maybe Geniuses. What's this one here? Him. Gift could be a curse. I don't know this one. This looks kind of interesting here, this one. The Games Maker. There's definitely, yeah, definitely a lot of interesting ones in here. Tim and Eric Billing Dollar Movie, which I've seen that one a lot. This is like a big collection here of a bunch of dog movies. Like a whole bunch of them, like Robo Rex and, and a zoo. So it's a ton of dog movies all together. That's not a, not a bad, for a dollar for all those ones. Uh, Lake Fear 3, Spy Cat, Jesse and Me, Luigi, um, Resur Resurrection here, Boo here. I know I've seen some of these ones in the past. The Boy, this is really good. This is actually one, if you guys come across this, this is one I would definitely recommend with um, David Morris and Rain Wilson. But this one really, really was good. Let's see what is this here in Not Bangkok Knockout. Another one of the Dwelling, Snow Queen, Kiss of the Dam, Lince Perdio. I don't know what this is here. Uh, what is this? Devil's Candy. This was a pretty good movie here. I like this one with um, Ethan Emery in here. The Bloodlands. This one here, Quantum Voyage. I don't believe I've seen that one. The Killing. Oh, that's a really good one to see in here for a dollar. The Batman, The Killing Joke. The Brawler. Good. Assassin's X. Wish for Christmas here. A Joy Lawrence movie. Executioner's Chokeslam, The Offering here. I believe, I believe I've gotten that one. Indigenous. So definitely a lot of different horror ones. I'm pretty sure I got this one too. I'm always hard to remember with some of these. Another one of that elephant movie. Doe, I know I've seen that in the past here. Same with um, Murder Party. Fire Twister, Clay, Headhunter. Pocket Lining, Drinking Buddies, Jingle All the Way 2, which a lot of people didn't even know they, they made this. And I remember it was it like just like kind of like one of those like it was watchable, but the original movie is like such a great film. It's one of those movies too, the original movie, which is so weird because certain movies they like do like lots of different re-releases where they have like for like Home Alone they've had like steel books and they've had 4Ks and other editions. Like Jingle All the Way, they kind of released it on Blu-ray once and they never did any like new editions or steel books or anything. And I think it'd be kind of cool to do like a steel book for Jingle All the Way, like kind of the look like the Turbo Man doll, like in the case or something. There's definitely some cool ones that they could do for that. It always surprises me that they haven't. The Exo Squad here. I do not know what this is. Badlands. Yeah, definitely a Charlie Countryman. This is one you see a lot. You know, Anthem of Teenage Prophet, that was one that was really good. Mr. Frog. Some kind of like a talking frog movie or something like that. Feed, what is this one? Feed the Gods? Yeah, I don't know what this movie is here. It's like... Yeah, I've definitely never seen this one. Yeah, there's definitely some interesting ones. This is the one where that kind of looks like a bit like, you know, you can kind of guess what that looks, sort of looks like. Let's see. Right here's another weird one. Elf on the Run. Some kind of like an elf movie. Intruders. Prey. Live by Night. Family Silencer. Losers. Silencer. The Chipmunks Meet Frankenstein. There's like the Stuart Little animated back there. Stuart Little Go for the Gold. Playback. See a little dispatch down here. When the bow breaks. I remember that was pretty good. The house. The Blu-ray of the house, the Wolf Girl one. 
Guardians of the Museum, Murder Party. What's this like sneak sneezing baby panda? So some kind of like a sneezing baby panda like documentary thing. The aviators. Let's see. Last batch in here. Surf is that one. Life. Surf's up two. Whale, Superman 2 DVD, Shadow Effect, The Call, Battle Creek. I never watched this one with Bill Skarsgård. Let's see. Blu ray of Running the Roots, Running from the Roots, Blackwoods. That's another BBC one. Alien 51, no, yeah, Planet 51. Clean skin. We have a Doctor Who uh, episode here, Deep Breath. What is this one here? Deadly Inferno. But yeah, definitely a bunch of things in here. This one's pretty good too. This, um, who was that? The shuttle. I remember that one being pretty good. Yeah, so luckily enough, I, you know, really looked in the store because it really goes to show you that sometimes the movies can be kind of hidden on, like, the end. Like, I've never really seen that too much in any of the stores that I've gone to, but this is, like I said, a different area. So it seems like this one kind of put it on the end cap like that. But I'm glad I looked. But in there, though, I ended up getting this one. It's loose in the case, but, uh, you know, they only had the one of it. They're the one, the, the unbiting one. I also end up getting the Fred Willard movie uh, Birdmen. So I feel like I do. I feel like I do remember seeing this when it was out on the shelves, but I never saw this one. It was from 2016 is when it released. I also got the um, that weird elephant movie. You know Benjamin the Elephant. Uh, that one in there. And then I got the uh, Executioners one, which I might have gotten this one before. I, might, I think I might have. I don't know for sure though. Might have gotten it actually from one of the other Dollar Tree sales. I got him. This movie here. And then the only other one that I got was this one, Feed the Gods, which looks kind of interesting. It says on the top here, Walmart Select. And I believe this is like from a Canadian uh, Walmart because it's in French and everything. So I believe it's a French-Canadian one. But let me know, though, if you guys went to a Dollar Tree. Let me know, you know, what you guys saw, uh, what you guys ended up picking up. If you guys saw a whole bunch of different stuff that my, you know, the locations that I went to. Or, well, this one was the one that had the stuff. But, if, you know, the ones that you got, went to had different things and all that kind of stuff. But let me know for sure. Hopefully, you guys, though, if you did go out looking, you, could, you guys could find some cool stuff. Stuff. Anyway, though, guys, like I always say, if you guys enjoyed these videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.